This is a cacao plant and this is a round leaf cacao also known as jaca. Now this plant is something that I had never ever seen in my life and I discovered something about this plant that I'm gonna share with you guys. So if you're into cacao growing, you wanna stay tuned and don't miss this video. All right, so here we are looking at this plant that's in a small two gallon grow bag. And this is Theobroma cacao. This is a chocolate plant. And what you're going to notice about this plant is that it has a very unique leaf, very, very unique leaf. And it's called round leaf cacao because the leaves are beautiful and round, beautiful round leaves. Now, for a long time, I tried to get a pod of round leaf cacao, but I was never successful. And I got lucky one day and I was able to find scions from Puerto Rico, Mayaguez, USDA in Puerto Rico. And I was sent about six scions of the round leaf cacao and I grafted them. And this is the result of one of the grafts. Now, there are four more grafts here that I'll show you. Uh, and we're gonna go through them one, one at a time. Uh, but to give you a little history about this, this plant was discovered in Bahia, Brazil, the region of Brazil where this plant was discovered and it is a mutant cacao. It is Theobroma cacao and it is supposed to be a very disease resistant and apparently from what I've been told, it's a fast growing cacao. Now let's go look at some of the other ones uh, and uh, we'll do some close ups so you get a better idea and then I'll show you where they're grafted. All right, so there's very little information about this plant. I mean, I've been all over the place. I've been on every possible search engine you can imagine. I've gone to friends and people in rare fruit council and very few of any have even heard about this plant. So I was really fortunate to get these scions. And the day they arrived, I was in a hurry because uh, I got home around 6.30. I didn't have much time. It'll be dark in about an hour. Uh, roughly hour less than an hour about 45 minutes and I hurried up and I grafted it one of them I grafted onto a this is a Trinitario so this is a Trinitario rootstock and it's grafted right here with a side it's got a little side graft and I'll come in uh, like a side veneer graft I'll come in for a close-up in a second and show you that uh, but I got really excited about growing these because you know I'll be able to test these out in the Florida climate where we have some cool you know, relatively cool evenings in the winter. Uh, I've had my trees here, the regular uh, cacao, uh, that have developed uh, temperatures as low as, you know, 33 degrees, and they got beat up pretty bad, but they, they survived. The plant be became fused to the, um, to the mother plant. In other words, the scion became fused. It took about 40, 45 days, roughly, for it to be really well secured, and it's doing great, and it started pushing. Uh, so I, I noticed that there was already some growth on it within two weeks it already has some growth uh, there were two other ones that didn't make it but of the six that I grafted four of them made it another one is in a, in a container similar to this but I recently stepped it up let's go over there and take a look at that one and then I'll show you the other two grafts that are on a much larger plant in a 15 gallon pot and that I did onto two of the branches and then I'm going to talk a little bit about some of the differences that I've learned from people and from some online research about the plant all right, here we have another one. This is another round leaf cacao, just like the one I showed you. This one's a little bit different graft. What I did here is I did a, I did a, uh, a cleft graft right here at the top. The other one had a side veneer, and I'll show you what that looks like in some images upcoming, okay? So this is a, a cleft graft on a Trinitario rootstock. I grafted this one just a little bit higher. Uh, in case it didn't work out, I could always come down a little lower and try again. Uh, with a different type of scion because I only had six of these uh, round leaf cacao scions. Now speaking about this, this, this particular cacao, it is called a mutant. So it actually is a wild mutant hybrid, uh, for, like I said earlier, from Brazil. And from what I've been told and the research that I've found, what little there is, it, it doesn't develop five Jorquettes. In other words, five branches like a typical cacao, it develops on average just three of them. 
So it will develop three jaw cats. The other thing I was told is that it is much more disease resistant. That remains to be seen, I have no idea. Um, as far as the productivity uh, or how good the pods are, uh, you'll have to stay tuned, watch this channel for future updates on how this plant grows and develops. And at some point, uh, when I have enough scion wood, my goal is to begin grafting and having these available. And I'm gonna show you now uh, two other scions that were grafted onto a 15 gallon, I think it was a 15, I think it's a seven, it's a seven gallon plastic container. It's much, much taller. And I actually eliminated some of the jorquettes and I think I left it down to three or four jorquettes just to give the other ones um, more dominance and see how that goes. Let's go take a look at those. All right, so now this is the seven gallon cacao that you can see one branch with the round leaf, another branch with the round leaf, and then this branch, I should call these jorquettes, okay? These are jorquettes. And this is the normal looking cacao leaf. You see the size of that leaf? You see the shape of that leaf? That's your cacao leaf, your Theobroma cacao. Now, don't get confused. This is still Theobroma cacao. They haven't, to the best of my knowledge, there's nothing saying that this is a new name or a species. It's just Theobroma cacao. Uh, I guess we could say Theobroma cacao bahia for, for the region maybe in, in, in Brazil. By the way, if you're from Brazil and you have any knowledge that you could share with us here, please jump in and give us some information about what you guys I believe call jaca in Brazil, jaca, and we call round leaf cacao. So I'm gonna come in a little closer so you can see the graphs on these two. And then, as I said earlier, this is a, a plant that normally has five, what well, these are called jorquettes, has five. I just decided to bring it down to three. So I have these two and this one. And then they've developed really nice. One thing that's really interesting is that typically, because of apical dominance, the leaf at the top or the bud at the top starts to grow first because it's supposed to be dominant, but it was kind of weird this particular scion started to develop down here and then slowly it's just beginning to give us some growth up here at the top where it normally should and then this one has um, some nice growth coming out uh, and then this below is growth from this branch which is the regular theobroma cacao that's not mutant these are mutants i'm going to come in closer for you Okay, so now you can see them a little bit closer up and you can see the round leaves. And what I was speaking about earlier was the, the growth. This is very tiny little leaf here. And I gotta be real careful because I think there's a little bit of aphids or something on here. And I'm trying to be careful I don't spray or do anything that's gonna cause a little toxicity and then this thing ends up dying. But it's, it's doing quite well. I've actually got some additional growth on the side here, here, and here. And these tiny little round leaves, they're just beginning to emerge and the plant's looking healthy and beautiful and the leaves are holding on, they're strong. Uh, maybe these leaves are a little more wind resistant. I don't know, we'll have to find out. And then this branch over here, you can see has a growth here and has plenty of growth at the top. And both of these are, I'm gonna knock this guy off here, okay? I'm gonna just knock him off, there we go. And then they can see this is my rubber band. And I could take this off because I'm sure these are well fused, but I'm gonna leave it alone. There's no need to yet. I'm gonna keep it on there a little stronger. In case this tree gets knocked over by the wind, uh, I don't wanna take a chance and these break off. This one's already beginning uh, to come apart uh, at the seam, so to speak. It's starting to lose um, the parafilm. It's starting to come off. So if you have anything you wanna share, if you've got any tips, any advice, any links to more information, Please post them in the comments below. And if you like the video, please, please, please give us a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. I will be bringing you much, much more updates on cacao in general, growing it in the southern states. I'm in Florida and I'll bring you lots of information about Jaca, round leaf cacao, and what's been happening with it.